Hey guys, um, for this lesson, we're gonna be learning how to draw and watercolor a dragonfly. We're gonna start with our pencil like we always do for sketching, and then we'll walk through each step to create a dragonfly. The first step we're gonna do is um, you're gonna come down the middle of your paper. Your paper should be vertical, so that's kind of up and down. The longest side should be up and down on the sides. That's vertical. So we're gonna come down from the middle of the paper, not all the way down to the middle, but a little ways up. And we're gonna start with two little oval eyes with our pencil. Once you have the oval eyes done, we're gonna start drawing the body. So it's kind of like a little oval, but the bottom of it is flat. This next piece, it's almost like an I, the letter I, it's bigger at the top and gets skinny and then gets bigger at the bottom, like an hourglass. After that, we're gonna add the very last piece. So you're gonna start thicker at the top and it gets skinnier as it goes down, like this. And then we've got to add some antennas just off the eyes. They can just come kind of up to the side. And then we're gonna add some wings. So we're gonna start the wings like this. You're gonna go up and up. And then we're going to, at the bottom of this section, you're gonna come up also like this. This should be the same kind of width apart. And so you're gonna come way up past the antennas and leave kind of a little point. And then you're gonna like a rounded little point and then we're gonna curve back down to our other line. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You wanna try to make sure that these two are very similar um, and that they kind of match. So you wanna kind of go the same distance up that you did. And do your little pointed like curve. And then you're gonna bring it back down to meet up. So this one's a little thicker, so I'm just gonna go back and thicken this one up to match and then erase my initial pencil line. Once you have this, we're gonna draw the bottom wings. So this bottom wing comes out of the same place, but it's gonna go straight out on both sides, you're going straight out. Try to make them the same. You also are not going down the whole entire part of this section, but you're gonna just come out straight right here, just a little ways down. And you're gonna dip down with a little curved line and go all the way out and make this a little curved point just like you did up here at the top. And you want this one to match. So try to make sure that they're kind of similar. Give you a second to get this part sketched. Once you do this, we're gonna be adding some details with a Sharpie um, or a black marker if you have black paint. Um, whatever you have that you can outline with, you could even use a crayon. What we're gonna do is you're gonna go back and outline really carefully on top of your pencil lines. You can go ahead and color in the eyes. And then we're just outlining everything else 
Make sure you're working slowly so that you don't have to go back and do a lot of erasing. Make sure you're going slowly. Take your time. The slower you work on your outline, the less you're gonna have to go back and erase in the next step. Remember, you want them to look very similar, so make sure you're working so that it looks pretty symmetrical. Once you have that, go back and erase all your pencil lines. Just any pencil lines that are still showing. have the outline of your dragonfly. We're going to go in and add some details with our Sharpie and then we'll start watercolor. So I want you to go in um, on each little section of the body. We're just adding some little lines to give it some marks. So it looks more three-dimensional and just has details. You don't, these don't have to be like perfect or in any certain place. You're just giving it some details. We are also going to come out from the body kind of like a shadow. You're just going to add some little jagged lines that come out from the body just to give it some extra detail on this dragonfly on both set of wings so that it just has like a little shadow like this. I'll give you a second to get that part done. Then we're going to add some details to the wing. So we're going to come um, with a few little lines. So you're going to come out and kind of to the side. And then you're going to go up. And then from this one, we're gonna go out. We're just giving some details. And then we're gonna go up and over. So you're feeding off each line. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So try to match. You're gonna come out. And then you're gonna go up. And you'll come out. And then go up. And come out. For the bottom part of the wings, we're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna come out kind of from the middle and drop down. And we're gonna go all the way to the point. And then we'll add some lines that come off of it like this. Same thing on the other side, come out, drop down to the point. and then add some lines that go to the edge. Make sure you're rotating every other side. So this is what you should have before we start our watercoloring. I'll give you a second to get caught up. If you have watercolor, um, we're going to get those out. If you do not have watercolor at your house, you are welcome to color this in with the crayons, markers, um, mark paint, whatever you have at your house that you can use. Um, I'm just using watercolor. So I have my huge watercolor set that I'm going to be using. Um, and I also just have a small bowl of water and my brush. You want to make sure that your brush is super wet so that the color that you pick will show up really well. I usually dip it in the water. I'll show you guys. I usually dip it in the water a couple times and make sure it has enough so it's super wet before I even start painting with it. Um, and once it's really wet, I'm gonna go in and start painting my wings. You can choose whatever color you want. 
Just make sure you're kind of staying in the lines um, and not getting too far out. Each time I go to get more color, I'm dipping in the water just to make sure my brush is super wet. It's easier to spread the color if your brush stays super wet. And your Sharpie should show through or your crayon, your outline. Oops, I dipped in another color. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter color, but you could do the same color or a lighter color. I'm gonna use a teal for the bottom part of my wings. You could do the same though. I'm just gonna do a different. Staying inside the lines. Make sure your brush stays super wet so you're not scrubbing your brush on the paper and causing it to tear. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of a drier brush, just wipe it off on a paper towel and dip back into the color and just kind of darken up the top part of this wing just to give it some detail so it looks like it's shaded. So you do a darker line at the top and then it gets lighter. And I'm gonna do the same, just dry off my brush a little bit and dip back into that darker color to do the same thing on the top of these bottom wings just to give it some detail and some dimension so it doesn't look like a flat piece of paper. Um, I'm also gonna pick a gray for the middle part of the body, so I'm gonna wet my brush, make sure it's cleaned off, wet the color, um, and I'm gonna just paint this in kind of a light gray doesn't have to show up super, super well. You just wanna get it painted in. Um, and then my student's favorite part of this whole project is the splatter paint that we do at the end. So you're gonna dip back in your original colors. So I'm gonna dip in that darker color that I use for the top wing. And I just have my kids take two fingers once they have paint on their brush and you just tap it and it will go all over your paper and hopefully not make a huge mess. Um, and you just want to do it kind of all over. And then I'm going to dip into my second color and do the same thing. Just two fingers and tap it all around your paper. We're going to let this dry for a little while. But while it's drying, don't forget to take whatever you use to outline and sign your artwork in the bottom corner. Great job, guys.